Hey guys, it's Caitlin. Thank you so much for watching. So today I went shopping at Forever 21 and Free People and obviously had to take y'all with me. Uh, this is just a quick look at what I was wearing to run some errands and now let's move on to what I tried on. So this is the first top. Uh, it was from Forever 21. Really cute pattern. I really like the floral um, design on it. I just didn't really like the cut on my body. Um, I don't know that I really care for the baby doll or maybe it's just the length. I feel like everything is super short lately and I I am not about the crop top life so I don't know I just didn't dig it on me so whatever <laughs> um this okay again the crop top life um this is a big hell no no way in hell would I ever be able to wear this um it's just not cute it's just really not cute or flattering so let's take that off immediately um, this top I was totally digging. I love the cut of it, even though I have no bra to wear with it. And I really die for the black and white, the contrast lately. I'm just like totally into it. It was super cute. Um, so I really loved the top. These shorts, they were way too big. Um, big in the crotch. They were big in the waist. They were size 14 and I don't usually wear forever 21 pants. So I had no idea. Um, I liked the pants in theory. I really liked the distressing of it. They're like shredded on the legs. The pockets like annoy the shit out of me though. Like, come on, just I don't know. Don't untuck it. Look how unflattering that is. It's just so bad. Yeah, no, ma'am. Um, but the top was really cute. I just really, I really like that. I just, those shorts, man, I don't know if they'll be cute on anybody or just not me, but I didn't dig it. Um, this dress, I didn't really understand. I, I really like the color of it, but like the fit, I literally just fidgeted with this the whole time. I will say I felt super tiny in it. I don't know why. Um, but I did feel tiny, which was nice. But then like, I just couldn't figure it out. I felt like the top was too tight and then it was supposed to be loose, but then I couldn't like adjust it. I don't know. It was just really weird. It just wasn't it wasn't my thing so oh my god you guys this dress I die for I live and breathe for this dress I've posted it everywhere Facebook Instagram I literally think I'm gonna go back and get it I'm literally standing in my bra and underwear for you guys like closest thing to a skin flick I think I'm gonna go get it I don't know where I'll wear this tell me down below where I should wear this dress but literally look at it look at it breathe it in take it in yes I'm dying I can't it's like so beautiful and like I said it's completely sheer completely lace I could probably wear it over my bathing suit but like when I wear it in public would I dare guys I don't know this top I really enjoyed for like a sexy date night top like look at the cleavage um it's kind of like a cute it's like a cross between a peplum and a baby doll it was a little bit big the shoulders kept falling down but um, you, it was really cute. You had the ability to kind of cinch it in at the waist. It had ties on either side. Um, it had some really cute ple uh, pleating detail on the bust and it showed off the girls very nicely. Um, it went down pretty low. So like I said, I think this is a really sexy date outfit. I just don't know what I would wear on my bottoms, <laughs> but I really did like it. And I think it was like 20 bucks or something like that. It was, it, this is forever 21. Everything is super cheap. So yes, ma'am. This I love. I've always loved a Peter Pan collar and I've never had anything like it. I feel and I'm lazy so I didn't take off my pants but I feel like I'm like five and I kind of dig it. The Peter Pan collar was a crochet um, and I just I don't know it was like such an easy breezy fabric and I felt like it would be super easy to wear during the summer. I could throw a cardigan on and wear it to work. Um, I kind of even like it with the jeans. I don't know I'm a weird like that but like it's super cute right? I kind of want to go back and get that too. And then this top too, I feel like it's super Liz-esque. SJ was wearing a kind of cold shoulder top in one of her videos and she said it was a Liz top and I totally get that and that's how I felt in this too and I just think it's so cute. It has a spaghetti strap up top and then it's off the shoulder, it has the elastic cinching in at the waist. I just felt like it was super flattering and really adorable, so easy to wear and comfortable. I might have to get that as well. I need to come into a small fortune. <laughs> um, this top was just something fun. It says expensive taste on it on like a metallic slinky fabric. Underneath, I have a tank top that I always wear and it's ruched. So that's, I do not have lumpy boobs. They are saggy, but they are not lumpy. Um, so it's a really cute, just regular t-shirt tank top. Um, the fabric is like a shiny gold, but it's like this slinky material where it just shows all the things that I don't want shown. So it's cute though, right? It's cute. But I just, I couldn't, I couldn't do that to myself. 
Okay, that's a long clip. <laughs> um, and then this just basic t-shirt that says selfie on it. Um, I don't usually wear t-shirts or like tank tops out of the house without a cardigan, but this one I actually felt pretty comfortable in. It is just a size large, so it does kind of cling to my, um, my innards, I almost said, to my gut. Um, but I felt like you couldn't really tell too much, maybe because it's just a black tee. Um, but I felt pretty comfortable in it. And, uh, you know, I, I can see myself kind of going out in public with that and not being so self-conscious. I, I don't know. Um, not my favorite, like, graphic. But, you know, it is what it is. I didn't buy it anyway, so who cares? Then we went to Free People. And is that where I was? Yeah. And, you guys, I just, I really loved their dressing room. It doesn't really come across as cool on camera, I feel like. Um, with the music and everything playing and it was just kind of neat and they had like these quilts sewn together here for the door of the actual dressing room it was just really cool and like obviously boho and I just totally loved it um and yeah I just loved it I this is my first time in free people and there's a common a couple of themes a super duper expensive b way too much fabric on everything so let's see Oh my god, this first, I don't know if it's a dress or a top, but I literally die. If I was rich, I would buy this in a heartbeat. Like, hello cleavage, how you doing? Like, thank you so much Victoria's Secret semi-annual sale, because you have disguised my girls wonderfully. But literally, I would totally buy this um, if I had $228. Yeah, you heard me right. I mean, look at all the fabric. This is a large. This is crazy. But I literally feel like I could wear it with pants, but then I would also wear it with like... I have like these camel or taupe colored um, boots, not like heels, but like boots, just rugged boots. And I feel like it would really pair well with that. I don't know. It's so cute, but I'm just too poor for that life. But I mean, like, look how adorable it is. I don't know. I wish I could afford it. If I was rich, like I said, I would totally be there spending all my money, but I'm not. So, and literally, like I said, the price is outrageous. I took a picture of the price tag. Oh no, 228. I lied. That was a dress. This is $168 for a top. Is it a top or is it a dress? I don't really know. Still $168 seems unreasonable to me. Literally. I don't know. This top was really, I felt like it was pretty cute. I felt like it was flattering. It had a really nice shape and cut to it. It was $78 for like a tank top. I'm sorry, I cannot even be about that life even if I was rich. Like, but it is super cute. Look, I love the way that it goes down in the back. It's kind of a high-low. The seam continues all the way through. Like, just a really nice casual top, but no, freaking $80, no. I'd rather spend, you know, save an extra 100 and get that green dress top thing majig. And this guy's coming up, this dress. <laughs> <laughs> this dress is ridiculous you guys um I really don't understand like I don't I I don't know how people wear this it was gorgeous on the rack I will defend myself <laughs> and even trying this on it looks so funny um it was stunning on the rack like this detail down the top down the middle it had some beading like really beautiful sparkly beads on it even like the straps had beaded all around it but like come on like, I figure maybe people wear it belted. It didn't come with a belt, but, like, maybe people do that when they buy this outfit, this dress. This is crazy, though. Like, I legitimately felt like a flying squirrel. Like, <laughs> watch the amount of fabric that I pull up. Like, why? My goal in life is not to add the 120 pounds back with fabric. No, ma'am. Like, what the hell? But... <laughs> it's just so funny. I could never. I, maybe I'm just not chic enough to pull that off, but... I don't know. I don't know if anybody is. I'd, I'd be interested to see if somebody could pull that off. But this one, this one was, I believe, $228. Let's take a peek at the price tag. $228. Yes, ma'am. So that is it, you guys. I had so much fun shopping. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you next time.